This is the weekly Bible lesson sermon from the Plainfield Christian Science Church Independent, located in Plainfield, New Jersey, in the United States of America. For more information, please visit our website, www.plainfieldcs.com. This lesson is for your study during the week ending Sunday, August 27th, 2017. Subject, Christ Jesus. Golden Text, Philippians. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Responsive Reading, Romans. Being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand, and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength, in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. For if, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more, being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Lesson Sermon The Bible James My Brethren, Count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth, and hath long patience for it, until he receive the early and latter rain. Be ye also patient. Stablish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. Grudge not one against another, brethren, lest ye be condemned. Behold, the judge standeth before the door. Take, my brethren, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of the Lord, for an example of suffering affliction and of patience. Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Job, and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. Psalms I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me, and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of an horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my goings. And he hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it, and fear, and shall trust in the Lord. Matthew 
And the disciples did as Jesus had appointed them, and they made ready the Passover. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread, and blessed it, and brake it, and gave it to the disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup, and gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. And when they had sung an hymn, they went out into the Mount of Olives. Then cometh Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane, and saith unto the disciples, Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Then saith he unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here, and watch with me. And he went a little further, and fell on his face, and prayed, saying, O my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. And he cometh unto the disciples, and findeth them asleep, and saith unto Peter, What? Could ye not watch with me one hour? He went away again the second time, and prayed, saying, O my father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. Then cometh he to his disciples, and saith unto them, Sleep on now, and take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Hebrews Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight, and the sin which doth so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. First Peter For what glory is it, if, when ye be buffeted for your faults, ye shall take it patiently? But if, when ye do well, and suffer for it, ye take it patiently, this is acceptable with God. For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example, that ye should follow his steps, who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth. Who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously. Who his own self bare our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. 
for ye were as sheep going astray, but are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls. Second Thessalonians And we have confidence in the Lord touching you, that ye both do and will do the things which we command you. And the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into the patient waiting for Christ. I will now read correlative passages from the Christian Science textbook, Science and Health with Key to the Scriptures, by Mary Baker Eddy. Love for God and man is the true incentive in both healing and teaching. Love inspires, illumines, designates, and leads the way. Right motives give pinions to thought, and strength and freedom to speech and action. Love is priestess at the altar of truth. Wait patiently for divine love to move upon the waters of mortal mind and form the perfect concept. Patience must have her perfect work. What we most need is the prayer of fervent desire for growth in grace expressed in patience, meekness, love, and good deeds. To keep the commandments of our Master and follow His example is our proper debt to Him and the only worthy evidence of our gratitude for all that He has done. Outward worship is not of itself sufficient to express loyal and heartfelt gratitude, since he has said, If ye love me, keep my commandments. Prayer means that we desire to walk and will walk in the light so far as we receive it even though with bleeding footsteps, and that, waiting patiently on the Lord, we will leave our real desires to be rewarded by Him. Jesus taught the way of life by demonstration, that we may understand how this divine principle heals the sick, casts out error, and triumphs over death. Jesus presented the ideal of God better than could any man whose origin was less spiritual. By his obedience to God, he demonstrated more spiritually than all others the principle of being. While we adore Jesus, and the heart overflows with gratitude for what he did for mortals, treading alone his loving pathway up to the throne of glory, in speechless agony exploring the way for us. Yet Jesus spares us not one individual experience, if we follow his commands faithfully, and all have the cup of sorrowful effort to drink in proportion to their demonstration of his love, till all are redeemed through divine love. The disciples apprehended their master better than did others, but they did not comprehend all that he said and did, or they would not have questioned him so often. Jesus patiently persisted in teaching and demonstrating the truth of being. 
His students saw this power of truth heal the sick, cast out evil, raise the dead. But the ultimate of this wonderful work was not spiritually discerned, even by them, until after the crucifixion, when their immaculate teacher stood before them, the victor over sickness, sin, disease, death, and the grave. During his night of gloom and glory in the garden, Jesus realized the utter error of a belief in any possible material intelligence. The pangs of neglect and the staves of bigoted ignorance smote him sorely. His students slept. He said unto them, Could ye not watch with me one hour? Could they not watch with him who, waiting and struggling in voiceless agony, held uncomplaining guard over a world? There was no response to that human yearning. And so Jesus turned forever away from earth to heaven, from sense to soul. Remembering the sweat of agony which fell in holy benediction on the grass of Gethsemane, shall the humblest or mightiest disciple murmur when he drinks from the same cup and think or even wish to escape the exalting ordeal of sin's revenge on its destroyer? Truth and love bestow few palms until the consummation of a life work. Gethsemane, patient woe, the human yielding to the divine, love meeting no response, but still remaining love. Where were the seventy whom Jesus sent forth? Were all conspirators, save eleven? Had they forgotten the great exponent of God? Had they so soon lost sight of his mighty works, his toils, privations, sacrifices, his divine patience, sublime courage? and unrequited affection? Oh, why did they not gratify his last human yearning with one sign of fidelity? The meek demonstrator of good, the highest instructor and friend of man, met his earthly fate alone with God. No human eye was there to pity, no arm to save. Forsaken by all whom he had blessed, this faithful sentinel of God at the highest post of power, charged with the grandest trust of heaven, was ready to be transformed by the renewing of the infinite spirit. He was to prove that the Christ is not subject to material conditions, but is above the reach of human wrath, and is able, through truth, life, and love, to triumph over sin, sickness, death, and the grave. Through repentance, spiritual baptism, and regeneration, mortals put off their material beliefs and false individuality. It is only a question of time when they shall all know me, God, from the least of them unto the greatest. 
Denial of the claims of matter is a great step towards the joys of spirit, towards human freedom, and the final triumph over the body? There is but one way to heaven, harmony. And Christ in divine science shows us this way. It is to know no other reality, to have no other consciousness of life than good, God, and his reflection, and to rise superior to the so-called pain and pleasure of the senses. Self-love is more opaque than a solid body. In patient obedience to a patient God, let us labor to dissolve with the universal solvent of love the adamant of error, self-will, self-justification, and self-love, which wars against spirituality and is the law of sin and death. If the disciple is advancing spiritually, he is striving to enter in. He constantly turns away from material sense and looks towards the imperishable things of spirit. If honest, he will be in earnest from the start and gain a little each day in the right direction, till at last he finishes his course with joy. I will now read the three daily duties as given by Mary Baker Eddy in the Church Manual. Daily Prayer It shall be the duty of every member of this church to pray each day, Thy kingdom come. Let the reign of divine truth, life, and love be established in me and rule out of me all sin. And may thy word enrich the affections of all mankind and govern them. A Rule for Motives and Acts Neither animosity nor mere personal attachment should impel the motives or acts of the members of the Mother Church. In science, divine love alone governs man, and a Christian scientist reflects the sweet amenities of love in rebuking sin, in true brotherliness, charitableness, and forgiveness. The members of this church should daily watch and pray to be delivered from all evil, from prophesying, judging, condemning, counseling, influencing, or being influenced erroneously. Alertness to Duty It shall be the duty of every member of this church to defend himself daily against aggressive mental suggestion and not be made to forget nor to neglect his duty to God, to his leader, and to mankind. By his works he shall be judged, and justified, or condemned.